I have been bitten once by a timber rattlesnake. It's an experience I'll never forget, and I do not want to go through it again. <laughs> that was uh, uh, an experience in more ways than one. I was following textbook procedure. The snake was tubed. Uh, this is in the middle of breeding season. It was a large male timber rattlesnake that just all of a sudden decided to freak on me and was able to clear the tube off his body before I could let him go. The tube, it was like he had it planned. The tube, as soon as it cleared off his head, was on my hand before I could let it go. So my finger is a little crooked. Uh, the snake actually, uh, when he came, he latched on like this. And I thought he had, because he was like this, I thought he had missed, because I didn't feel anything. And, and I can still remember, he turned his head and he was started doing this up my finger and I still didn't feel anything. And this had to be just a couple of seconds to see this. And then I flung his, I just flung him off of my hand. And then you could see a rainbow of venom in the air from where, uh, and I looked at my finger, I didn't see any blood or anything. I was like, but I told the park manager that was with me, I said, I've been nailed, let's get the snake secure and I still thought he had missed in his fangs because I did not feel a thing. By the time we got the snake secured, I got a little tingling in my tongue and on my lip uh, from some of the neurotoxic effects of the venom. And then I started getting a metallic taste in my mouth and I then saw the blood coming from my finger. Um, he wanted to call an ambulance and I knew that St. Thomas and DeKalb carried the anti-venine, said we'd be better off just driving. Uh, rather than get the ambulance here and then drive back, let's just go ahead and drive. He was an EMT uh, as well, so he radioed ahead and we went to DeKalb emergency room. So from DeKalb, um, the treatment actually was compounded because I have a tick bite allergy, uh, uh, alpha-galactose allergy from a tick bite and the anti-venine is made from sheep serum. So uh, I can't eat any mammalian flesh because that's made from sheep serum. By the time we got to Vanderbilt, I was starting to go into anaphylaxis from the anti-venine um, and that was on a Sunday and I was out of the ICU after 14 vials of anti-venine uh, on Tuesday, and then Saturday I was out back tracking snakes. <laughs> Tennessee's Wild Side has been a presentation of the Jackson Foundation in association with Rockwater TV.